everyone, it's Nicolette here from Journey and Daughters in Remuera, your home for premium chalk paint and furniture decor in Auckland. Uh, so today I thought I'd just jump on and really quickly um, show you how to use these silicon moulds. Um, I haven't done this in a, or haven't been on here in a while doing these, so I just thought a quick, quick overview of what they are and how to use them. Um, so we stopped these, this one's been used, this is the Fleur de Lis, um, but these silicon moulds by Redesign. So they're fully bendable and they're a great way to make custom mouldings for your furniture or furniture decor. Um, they're also food safe, so you could use them uh, for chocolate if you wanted for Easter. Um, but yeah, oh, like normal, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments, I can't quite see them, um, but I will answer them later and I'll save this and put it up on our blog along with everything else. Um, yeah, so this is what they look like. They come in packets like this. There's lots of different designs. They're all up on the website. Um, and you can use different materials in them. So you can use resin, uh, you can use modeling materials, air dry clay. Um, so this is the modeling material that's made by the same company. We also have some air dry clay. Um, and I'm just gonna use some clay that I have open today. So, you want them to be reasonably clean. Um, if you're using air dry clay, you do want, I've got mine wrapped up, you want to keep it somewhere cool. Um, so I keep it um, out the back here in the shop. And you want to keep it as airtight as possible, so um, a, an airtight container would work really well, like a little, um, I don't know, Tupperware container. Um, I've just got mine tied up here with a rubber band. So I've used this a bit before. Um, and hopefully you can see, I think you can see if I hold it back here. Um, so if you're using the air dry clays or modeling material, you just want to get a little bit at a time um, into your fingers and you're just going to place it into your mold. So you just smush it in and this is the way that, like there's lots of different ways I suppose of doing it, this is the way that I've found the easiest um, and what worked for me when I did I did quite a lot of these last year actually. Um, so these are also just a really good way if you're doing lots of mouldings. <laughs> um, I always get it confused. So this is a mould and the end product is a moulding or a plique, um, applique. Um, but yeah, if you're doing a lot of them, um, these are, and you want to do lots of furniture or decor products, these are a great option. Uh, if you're just doing kind of a one-off or something, uh, yeah, like a one-off um, piece or you're doing something quite different or something quite large, you might want to use the effects mouldings which are pre-made with latex um, and which I did a live and blog post on earlier this year, at some point this year. Um, so... Just keep putting it in, making sure that you're going to, oh, I'll just get, see if I can do it holding it up closer. Um, you just want to get it in to all the edges, um, right out, and you want to keep the back of it reasonably flat. Obviously that makes it flatter when it's on your piece of furniture. Um, now the air dry clay, I don't have any resin, so hence I'm using this. Um, resin will give you a more perfect finish. I've also seen on, probably on YouTube, people using a hot glue gun, so there's that option as well. Um, I definitely think it is worth just playing a little bit um, when you first start, um, before going straight on to doing your first ones. Um, yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, so a resin um, will give you more of a perfect finish. The air dry clay is really good for kind of a bit more of an aged rustic finish, which I quite like because then it can tie in with your paint style and gilding wax and everything. Right, 
So, you can see here, I've got it all in. It's reasonably flat on the back. Now you just get your finger and just pull it back in towards, from all the edges, pull it in, oh gosh, hopefully you can see, towards yourself. And this will just um, make the edges a bit sharper. Okay, now if you're doing something bigger, like maybe this one, you could uh, wait a little bit. I tend to now, that it's in, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it works, um, just pop it out. My, my clay's a little bit dry. So hopefully it all And just gently use your fingers and there we go you just pop it out um, I found the first time I did it this way I recommend playing a little bit first time I did it I waited for them to dry and then when I um, or I didn't even wait fully for it to dry but I waited probably about 20 30 minutes and even though it was winter and so not anywhere near as hot it all just crumbled so that's why I tend to take them out pretty quickly um, lie them on something flat. Baking paper is actually quite good because you know it won't stick. Um, while I'm thinking about it, now that I've finished, wrap your material back up and put it back in your airtight container. So you don't, you want to keep it like that as much as possible. You can also um, wrap it up in like a wet or a damp cloth. Just you don't want it to dry out. Um, uh, I've totally lost my train of thought but yeah having a plate what I also recommend is while before they dry so this again I, I've done everything the wrong way um, the first time I used them I waited for them to dry and then I tried to glue them on and they were brittle and they broke and that all shrunk and didn't quite work properly um, so now I would make as many as I needed um, but even from now, you could go and put this, you can see it here, um, you could then go and glue it straight onto your furniture and it will bend, especially if you're doing something curved. Um, I did a really great demi loom with a bunch of these ones. I used this on it. Um, it will curve and it will stick on there. Now with the glue that you want to use, you just you don't want to use the contact adhesive, which is what you use with the latex mouldings. It won't stick. Again, I tried all the different ones. Um, it doesn't stick that well. The best one I did was I had some wood glue and just in the shop and that's what stuck perfectly. It allowed me to um, move it around for a bit because um, it takes obviously longer to dry so I could get the right position. And when, again from experience, when you're doing it, you want to try and have it as flat as possible because it does take longer to dry, um, so you just need to make sure it doesn't move. Um, again, and then when it's all fully dry, uh, the moulding and the glue, so I would wait overnight, perhaps, uh, paint over with your chalk paint, same as normal, you can just go straight over, and then your gilding wax can look really good. Um, I have a bit of gilding wax hopefully coming in this week um, I will be posting if, if it does come in um, it's just one of those ones that's been a bit hard to get uh, yeah so hopefully that was just really quick but hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea about what the molds are because yeah they're good fun and as you see you get so many designs um, oh that was upside down but so many designs out of them uh, so yeah, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments and I will pop this up on our blog with all of our other trainings and everything we put up on there. And I hope you have a really good weekend. Oh gosh, it's not the weekend. I hope you have a really good afternoon. It's beautiful up here in Auckland, so I think it's meant to change in a few days, but hopefully it lasts. Um, yeah, thanks. See you.